Well, we're coming on up Forester Pass. Finally got enough light to be able to actually see something. Good morning. Ain't it fun? Coffee stands up here, right? Yes, sir. Coffee donuts, all right, I'm gonna go get them. There was a uh, crew of, we think, three folks. They're out ahead of us in sunscreen. Started out with us, but old Codger here was, I was going too slow. We told him just to push on. And there's a couple more folks. I don't know if you can see them, but right down there that are coming up, right behind us. Well, happy trails, we'll see you later. The big, big steep stuff. This last part was pretty much straight out. Starts with heavy breathing. Just a beautiful view here. We're not at the top yet, but we're getting close. Got a no filter, skeleton, and skeleton, and jar bear. Good job, man. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for leading the way. Oh, man. All right, we're going to take a break here and then continue on to the, to the top. Got through that snow part. Now we're doing just a lot of switchbacks here on dirt. We like dirt. It's kind of rocky. Yeah. But we'll take it. I think they're just beautiful views. Yeah, not quite to the top. Got, a, got some clouds moving in. Uh, we'll talk to you when we get to the top. Came across this sluice, and David's coming through right now. Give you a sense of it. There's some boot tracks that we're trying to follow. It's helped a lot. You can't see anybody doing this at night. Man, good job. Woo. Give me some. And right behind him, Jer Bear, El Skeletor in the front. He's from Oregon originally, but Portland, but he's from Miami now. And Jer Bear's in the Asheville area. And they're taking their time, which they're going faster than I was. Just look at this little spot right there. Hugging the wall. We are really close to the top of Forester. See, there's the ledge we just came across. And that leads up to here. All right, I'll cut it for now. Maybe here at the top, a couple of pikas. Right. Well, we have made it to the top. It's going to be interesting going down. It is. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's on the downside of it. What to do next? We might have a place we can glissade. Yeah. Where's it back? All right. We're going to draw a few more moments up here and then we'll head down. 
Yes, I think Spike is just happy that we're here. Yeah? Can I feed him? Uh-huh. Looks like a little there. Like, you know what you can with I think I got M&M's. Oh, yeah. Here we go. You like peanut M&M's? <laughs> <laughs> that got his attention. Mm-hmm. Peanut M and M's. Yeah, get this thing open. Yeah, probably just a peanut. Me, probably. Yeah, peanut would be better if I can get this thing open. There we go. No. No. Okay. All right. Let's do this. I'll set him on the rock for you over here. Hey, little guy. Okay. Well, enough for the wildlife. Right here. We'll talk to y'all later. Down, down the hill here. A bit steep. You know, look, careful. But, uh, just incredible views. You know, again, in awe of this. All right, I'm gonna work my way down. We'll talk to y'all a little bit later. Stop here for lunch right the spring. And, uh, right across the lucky river is a pretty strong snow bridge across the same token access to water. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Have quite a few hikers stopped here with us. Well, I said we kind of down over forest this morning. And Joe is wrapping up the stuff. We pulled everything out and dried all our tents off because we camped on snow last night. Really? And when you do that, the tents get wet. We got about three miles to go to get to the campsite we want to get to tonight. And then we've got, I think it's about a mile and a half from there to get to the Bullfog Trail, which will take us up over Kearsarge Pass and down into Bishop. That's our plan to go ahead and go into town. Probably take a zero. Kind of get cleaned up and run the trail about, I don't know, eight days now? Seven days? Eight? Yeah, it'll be nine by the time we're done. So you don't want to be standing near us. All right, we'll uh, talk to you a little bit down the trail. Take care. Didn't see that one coming. Uh, we're between Forester Pass, going northbound in the base of that trek up. And it's got a, been an avalanche, so we're gonna have to wander our way through that. Interesting. Didn't see that one coming. Happy trails, y'all. This is Bub's, Bub's Creek. Uh, probably not that big usually, but all this melt off, that's incredible. We don't think we have to cross that. We're happy about it. Look at, look at the walls, 10 feet of snow. There goes Jer Bear. Woohoo! All right, we'll catch you all later. Good day today. We got up Forester Pass. Woohoo! <laughs> our uh, our first big pass. Uh, it's the highest on the PCT, it's 13,120 feet. Although I think I counted an extra foot or two on there. Yeah, I think so. It felt a lot, lot more than that. Uh, but it was good. We got up at, we were on the trail at 3, the 3 this morning. And uh, we got there about 6.30, 7 o'clock. Yeah, I think it was about, about, about three and a half, four yeah. hours, somewhere in that range to get up to that. Yeah, we were pretty lucky. It was just, there was a stretch where you could just rock and roll and it wasn't a very high grade, but then you had certain parts where it was a little sketchy. You guys saw yeah. the videos. Yeah, you saw that. some of the videos so, there that, you know, we were, we were commenting the whole time that I, for the people that went where there was no boot path, God bless them. That had to be extremely tough just yeah. to be able to, to traverse that and yeah. get it to where it needed to be. But. But it was good. We did great. Uh, felt good. Yeah, and we met um, 
met some new people too. There's uh, two guys that yeah. ended up hiking with us. It was uh, Skele Skeletor and Jer Bear. Jer Bear, yeah. Guys, you were great. Great yeah. to hike with. And uh, we, we did our first major glissade. Oh, oh boy, did we. Did we ever. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we'd have got a video of that. Um, I had a major collision or a major uh, wipeout yeah. on my glissade. Uh, and we had people come up afterwards saying, did somebody self-arrest? Did somebody fall? Some... It's like, yeah, we did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it wasn't pretty. Because it was a it pretty. Then it was a because a big group of people came while we were just oh, chilling yeah. with the guys. They come in the past kind of a little different way. And so we got to hang out and meet, meet some new people plus some other people we've met before. Yeah, yeah. Good time. Yeah, it was a good day. Good day. Nice little campsite here. We'll, uh, we'll show you a little bit when I flip this around. Yeah. But. Total for the day was like 12.4 miles and yeah. 2,200 of ascent and 3,700 of descent, but quick descent and a quick ascent no no it okay. wasn't that quick because remember we got down in all the trees and then slush oh, and yeah. the snow yeah. and the tree wells just the top part was was quick the top part was smoking quick, particularly with the glissading yeah. and wiping yeah. out so but then we uh, got back into the mush down here yeah like, oh, it is tough it's, it's so nice in the mornings when it's crisp um, but anyways what's uh what's the big news for tomorrow big news for tomorrow we uh, are going to go over Versage Pass and that'll take us down into Bishop. So we found a shower. Oh boy, we are way overdue. We were, tomorrow, tomorrow we'll make nine days on the trail. And I think that's the longest I know for me that I've been on the trail without stopping to resupply. Is today nine? Yeah, today's eight. That's today's right. eight. Today's tomorrow eight. Eight. Tomorrow will be nine. nine. Yeah. So there will probably be people clearing the path when we walk by. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, uh, we're smelling like uh, nine day old hikers. <laughs> but, you know, we can't tell. We can no. stand as close as good buck. Yeah, you smell pretty good. Yeah, you would smell. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, <laughs> so we're standing here by Bub's Creek. You saw some videos of that before. It is just rocking and rolling. Again, we don't have to cross it, but this would not be a place to cross. It is flowing really, really fast. Yeah, dangerous. I think this would be one of those. Remember way back when, where it's just kind of first getting started. That would have been where we would have we'd have to hike all the way back over. Anyway. Yeah, we would. Yep. Anyways. All right. Well, I think that's about it. Have a great day. This was a uh, this is a big thing that's been on our mind for a long time. You know, from the first time we started talking about going into the Sierras was, have you seen that video of Forrester Pass? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. And, uh, yeah. It was interesting, but yeah, the people who came through here when it was just completely snowed over. Yeah. Um, I just again, yeah. God bless them. Yeah. Um, Amazing. It had to be. It had to be incredible. There, there were boot tracks of the sort the whole way through. Yeah. Yeah, so it worked out well, particularly in some of those sketchy parts. So, all right. Well, again, uh, we got about ten miles to do tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna try to get up about four thirty. Maybe negotiate. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get up. Uh, we're gonna be on trail at four thirty. Yeah, trail. Um, and we got uh, that pass to get over, and then get down, and then we'll have to try to find a ride. Yeah. So. You want to flip, you know, flip around and show them the yeah. I'll show little, you the tent show site. Show the setting with our tent site group. Yeah, it's been kind of a neat little group of folks here. Yeah, and uh, we will then talk to y'all tomorrow. All right, happy trails. This is uh, this is what the tent site looks like. Got uh, quite a few people here tonight. Kind of jammed into a small space. And, uh, Seven ten. Yeah. So yeah, a nice little campsite. We're hoping uh, it won't be rain. They talked about ninety percent chance of rain today. And nothing has occurred. So we're starting to kind of realize that the forecast in this area is a very difficult forecast. All right. Well, again, we'll talk with you all in the morning. Have a great night.